Hi, welcome back. My name is Emmy, and I am a professional hairstylist, a coffee lover, and a makeup enthusiast. Apparently, this channel is also about clothes now, so <laughs> we're adding that to the list. And it is springtime. I live in very sunny central California, which means spring, it's like it's a little bit spring kind of all year round, but actual springtime is a really tricky season for us because we get like a 30 to 40 degree swing from morning till afternoon to evening. It is really intense. So what that means for my wardrobe, me, it means that I've got a lot in my wardrobe because I just kind of have to dress for multiple seasons in one day. So lots of layers and just depends. It totally depends. So yeah, I am by no means a clothing minimalist. I own a lot of clothes and I've been a lot of different sizes in kind of recent history. So I've got a lot of clothes that kind of don't fit right now, but that is totally fine. And so I am just going to go through what I have hanging in my closet right now, what I kind of have in storage for off season reasons and just put what's going to serve me and fit me in my closet. First things first, take everything out of your closet. I wear black clothes to work, so I'm going to do that separately. Today we're just talking about my clothes that have like color. These two bags right here and these shoes are my like spring summer shoes and my spring summer clothes. So we'll get to those in a minute. First, we're just gonna take everything out onto the bed. is a lot of clothes <laughs> like whoa so I think initially I'm just gonna sort through and anything that is just way too warm and way too heavy for right now in this season I'm just gonna put it to the side to go into storage see what I have left then go into my stored spring and summer things I'm probably not gonna bring everything out from there just a little bit to kind of supplement so Let's get, let's get sorting. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Cue the music. You have my whole, you have my control. Love me tender, love me sweet. With you, I know that. <sighs> All right, this feels much better. So, things on hangers are things going back into my closet. It's still a lot, but I know that my spring wardrobe is bigger than my summer and winter wardrobe, so I'm totally fine with this. Uh, so, now I'm going to go through these spring bags and kind of see what spark and joy, see what inspires me. And I have some drawers kind of in the closet I'm gonna go through a little bit and pull some shorts out and maybe also do a little declutter of my swimsuits. So that's what we're doing next. I 
lights go I am already on the gas running red lights so Probably gonna do this every day I know Probably should be able to take a break I know Trying to get my feelings on this shit higher. Uh, do another. I have narrowed it down, but it still feels like a little too much clothes. So I want to narrow it down even more. These are dresses and jumpsuits. I'm happy with that pile, so yay. These are tank tops and short sleeve tops. Also happy with this pile, yay. This is my... <laughs> like layering pile, which is key. If you live on the central coast of California or anywhere where there is a very temperate climate and you have extreme swings in temperature from morning to evening, layers are key. So it makes sense that this is the biggest pile, but it also feels like it could be whittled down a little extra. So let's do that. I'm just gonna go from the top and kind of talk my way through a little bit. So at the top, I have a white button down. This is kind of a staple, so I'm gonna leave this in. So that's staying for now. You can layer it up over things, you can wear it on its own. This is more like a jacket in the spring and the summer. So I'm actually gonna move this with my outerwear and that is kind of how I wear it. So that's gonna come out of this closet. This is my chambray top that fits me right now. I have a lot of these, but most of them just don't fit me at the moment, which is fine. Uh, so this is the one that does fit me and it is a key piece for me, certainly. This, I have two pink flannels. I think I can get away with just one pink flannel. And I think I'm gonna go with this one because again, it kind of fits me a little bit better than this one does at the moment. Um, it's also a little lighter. So I can wear it on its own and I can layer it. So that's gonna go in storage. That's going in storage as well. This is actually more of a work layering piece for me. So I'm just gonna take it out of this pile. It's still gonna go back in my closet, but more in my work capsule side of things. Now we're getting into cardigans. And this is where it gets really tough. Uh, Okay, this one is just a little fuzzy and warmer than I think I need it to be. This one is definitely like cotton and just better year round. This is 100% cotton, which I really, I just really like 100% cotton. So this is going out, that stain. These, this is really hard. Ooh. Okay, I think, I think these are both gonna stay, honestly. So this one, it's a nice crop option, and this, the color is just totally, well, is it? You know what, no, we're gonna put this in storage because the color is just a little more fall, not quite spring. So no, no go on that. This is my one zip up hoodie that I own. Um, it's also gonna go in kind of my outerwear capsule. And then two hoodies. These are normally my like evening loungewear hoodies. If you've seen my vlogs before, you've seen me wear these. These aren't going anywhere. Keeping them in the closet. Yes. And this is a really thin long cardigan, which is kind of another reason why I'm not gonna keep the orange one in. Um, Cause this just serves me way better in these in-between seasons as a light layer. All right, down to the last two cardigans. And we're keeping both. <laughs> this one, I mean, it's yellow. How much more spring can you get? And this is, um, it's just a really good versatile piece. So I'm gonna keep that in. Uh, okay, so then we have 
long sleeves and cozy sweaters, layering pieces. Yeah, this is feeling a lot better. I also swapped out a lot of long sleeve t-shirts um, for short sleeve t-shirts like the one I'm wearing today and some tank tops. Not a ton of tank tops, but some tank tops. So, and those live in my dresser, so they're in a drawer. Uh, I decluttered some of my swimsuits. I got rid of some swimsuits that I just haven't worn in years. Uh, yeah, what else did I get rid of? I think that's about it yeah there were some shorts that just didn't don't quite fit me right now some jeans that don't quite fit me right now so those are just going into storage for whenever my body is a different size but for right now all of these things fit me I love all of them and for our wildly temperate climate where we have 30 degrees in the morning and 80 degrees in the afternoon this is going to be a really good capsule. Everything's going to work together really well. The colors are a little bit all over the place. We've got some greens, some yellows, some blues, some reds, uh, but I really like that. So this is quite colorful for me and I'm really excited to kind of play with this. So let's get it back in my closet and see how I feel. Yeah. All right, here we are at the end. Here is my wardrobe. This is Tyler's side. We're going to ignore this. So here we have my civilian clothes, as I call them. So my colorful wardrobe, which I do wear on days I go to work sometimes, like mixed in with black bottoms or, you know, on a free color day or whatever. And then over here we have my work capsule. So it's a lot of clothes, but I do have a dress code for my job, which is all black. And I don't want that to kind of hinder how much fun I can have with the clothes that I've collected over the years. So I keep a lot of clothes in my, in my closet, but in a really mindful and intentional way. I am feeling so much better looking at this rather than what it was and kind of only wearing a small percentage of that. So now I feel like I'm more equipped for spring, very excited for summer. It's not gonna take much to kind of swap this over to summer. This whole process has taken me maybe an hour. I just had some music pumping and yeah, I still have a little bit of cleanup to do. I'm gonna put stuff back into storage where they're normally stored out of sight and then I'll be done. I got a few wardrobe related questions from you guys on Instagram that I wanted to take some time to answer. So one of them was favorite summer shoes and I have them right here. So I love my Birkenstocks so much. The break in time is real. Uh, these I've had for a while and I actually need to take them to get repaired and get this back part of the sole replaced or maybe the whole bottom of the sole replaced, which is something super cool that Birkenstock does. You can like replace parts of the shoe. So eventually someday when like the cork part of the shoe is completely worn off, I can keep these straps and just have them attached to brand new cork soles. So Birkenstock, huge, huge fan. My other favorite shoes, especially for work, I stand all day, are Dance Co's. This is a Dance Co sandal that they make. They make it in a few different colors. I have it in two colors, and this is an absolute favorite. Otherwise, you know, your standard flip-flop is fantastic. Uh, but pretty much all summer, I'm in these. I have two colors in each. Probably gonna pick up a third pair of Birkenstocks this year. They're great. I also had a question on finding clothes you love when you're not a small or a medium. So I think this question is asking how to enjoy wearing clothes when you're larger. And 
you just do. <laughs> like you find the clothes that fit your body, ignore the tag on the label, buy the size that fits you. It's going to be different from brand to brand, from store to store, from cut to cut. Ignore the size. I have things that are technically two sizes too big for me. You know, I have other things that are a smaller size too small for me, but all of them fit my body the way I want them to. So I wear them. You just got to do it and ignore, ignore the diet culture, ignore our society, just wear the clothes. So go out of your comfort zone, ignore the number or the size on the tag and wear the clothes that fit your body right now right now, not later, not what you want it to be right now, but you just got to do it. I was also asked what my favorite summer dresses are and my favorite summer dresses are wrap dresses because depending on your size, you can kind of make it, you know, more comfortable or like more fitted, you know, you can ha you have that flexibility. So I love wrap dresses for that reason. Uh, and then any kind of dress, because I am more of a pear shape, so I am much larger on the bottom. I like anything that's cut kind of on a bias. Uh, and anything that isn't, I size up and have it altered to be smaller in the top so that you fit your largest part. So those are my two favorites. Uh, as far as like specific dresses, I buy a lot secondhand, so I can't really like link to you my favorite dress or anything, but I have some dresses from Packed Organic that I love, and I just recently got one from the brand Flax secondhand, and I'm really impressed and I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of it. Otherwise, it's just stuff that I've kind of slowly collected over the years. Yeah. Um, okay. I touched on this a little bit, but I live in central California and it's a very temperate climate where we need lots of layers. So if you saw while I was kind of decluttering and moving things around and picking what was going to be hanging in my closet, I kept that in mind. And so how I handle that is I just know that my wardrobe is going to be bigger in the spring and the summer because I need those extra layers for that big swing of the temperate climate. Um, and I just kind of accept that it's not, I'm not going to be a minimalist. I just kind of can't when you live in a temperate climate. So it is what it is. Yeah. One of the, and I think the last question I got was about leggings, like a good legging to layer with. Uh, oh no, it's not the last question. There was one more. So a good legging to layer with. Uh, I don't know. I don't really layer with leggings. When I wear leggings, I'm either lounging or working out. Um, so I don't quite know. It really depends, I think, on what you're looking for. If you're wanting like a slippy fabric, I have the CRZ Yoga leggings. Uh, I find them on Amazon and they're naked naked feeling leggings are really like silky and sleek comfy uh but if you want more of like an actual fabric legging i don't i'm not sure i have some from old navy that i like um i also really like the leggings from booty b-o-o-d-y uh they they currently don't make my size um so i can't really wear leggings from them at the moment, but if you are within their size range, I love their fabric content so, so much. And I wish they would extend their size range to include me, a mid-size to plus size person. I would really enjoy that. And this is definitely the last question I got. <laughs> it was what do I do about chub rub when I wear shorts and dresses and skirts? Do I wear shorts? You know, if I wear shorts, what are the best ones? I don't wear shorts. Uh, they just get too warm. It's uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, my answer is mega babe. <laughs> this is not an ad. This is not sponsored. This totally changed my spring summer wardrobe life. So before finding this product, I would just completely dread being overheated because I had to wear pants 
because I would get chub rub pretty much. And so I would just wear jeans all summer long. I would wear some linen pants, but you know, not really a ton. And shorts were just really hard to find to fit me. Uh, and I didn't really want to wear Bermuda shorts. Just with the way my proportions are, shorts that go down to my knee just are not flattering. Uh, and they just don't make me feel flattered, I guess might be a better way to put it. Um, so wearing shorts and dresses and skirts was really difficult. And I never really invested in dresses or skirts as an option because I could never find shorts that <laughs> fit me because of the chub rub issue. So this is Mega Babe Thigh Rescue. I always have one going. Sometimes I'll have two. I'll keep one at work. I'll keep one in my purse. And it is a stick that you wipe on your leg. And it is a, it like helps it helps remove friction so you are not uncomfortable. And a kind of part of using this and starting to use it was just having to get comfortable applying it in public. And <laughs> once I started applying it in public, people would be like, wait, what's that? And I said, oh, it's thigh rescue. It's, you know, it helps my legs not chafe when I'm wearing shorter things. And I've actually had a lot of people like go buy it because they see me apply it in public. So swimsuits, shorts, dresses, skirts, I now wear very comfor comfortably and confidently because of this product. Love it. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, I upload two times a week, a beauty video on Saturdays, and then a kind of lifestyle vlog, whatever strikes me on Wednesdays. So thank you so much, and I will catch you next time.